Hey guys, I want to go ahead and talk about using the left endpoint uh, rectangles to find the area underneath the curve. So this is an example. We want to find the area of a certain function called f between 2 and 6. Now, the easiest way to look at it, guys, is remember that area we're using the shape of rectangles is base times height. Well, in this situation, my base is this width right here. Okay, So this, we call it the delta x in calculus. All right, all we need is this distance. And if we're going to say that these rectangles are equal width. So how do you find the width? Well, we're going to take delta x. That's going to be equal to, well, the distance. Well, how far is it from 2 to 6? Well, you, you say that's 4. And the way you do it is 6 minus 2. And how many rectangles do they want us to have? Well, they're going to tell you, but in this case, we see that there's 3. So I'm just going to divide by 3. So 6 minus 2 is 4 and divide by 3. So in this case my delta x is going to be 4 thirds or uh, we'll just use decimals 1.33. So each additional uh, unit here, each additional uh, x value is going to be added by 1.3. So here we start at 2. Why? Because we're starting uh, on the left end point. So we start at 2. And then to get to this point right here, we're going to add 1.3. So we could say this is 2, I'm sorry, this is 3.33. Uh, and then the next rectangle is going to be this point right here. Okay, and it's going to be, we're going to add another 1.33. So that's going to be 4.66. Okay, and that's going to give me my three rectangles. So that'll be 1, 2, and 3. So let's go ahead and set that up. Sorry I made it a little bit complicated here with the decimal, but let's go ahead and set it up. So the area, it's going to be approximately the base, which is, well, 4 thirds. Okay, that's my base. Now, what's the height? Okay, so what I have to do is I have to take this 2 and I have to essentially put it in here to figure out my y value because this is the height. So in order to find this y value right here, I put it, I plug it in here, so 2 squared, okay, 2 squared plus 3, and I know the graph is not um, quite accurate, but that's okay, 2 squared is 4, 4 plus 3 is 7, so in here I'm going to put 7, okay, and then I go to my next rectangle, my next rectangle, this distance here, how far is it, how wide is it, well, same thing, 4 thirds, Okay, now what do I do here? Well, I do the same thing. I plug this 3.33 into here. So let's do 3.33, square that, plus 3, and get to your value. So if I get my calculator, and I do 3.33 squared, plus 3, I get 14... Point zero eight, so that's what I put here. And then my last one, of course, same thing again. Four thirds times. Well, what do I put? Well, now instead of three point three three, I take this four point six six. I plug it in here. Okay, so four point six six, square that plus three. So I'm inputting it into my function to figure out my height. And four point six six, we square that. At three, it gives me gives us twenty four point seven one, okay, and then you would just do the math on your calculator, get your answer, and then you are. Now, when we do right and point rectangles, we're going to do the same thing, okay, um, same exact thing, and let's just go ahead. In order to make this simple, instead of going from two to six, so that would be a, this is a four. Let's go from 2 to 8. Let's make this into an 8 just to make our math simple. Okay, so what's our delta x? Same thing, 8 minus 2. Okay, how many rectangles? 1, 2, 3. And they'll tell you. Uh, they'll tell you if they want 4, 5, or 6 rectangles. So each one, each of these, the width is going to be 2 units. Okay, so if we start at 2, okay, you notice this guy here is 2. 
But that's not what we want. We want the right endpoint. You see that right here? Okay. And then we want this guy and we want this guy right here, the height at those values. So what we have to do is we have to take into consideration this width here. So what do I do? Well, I add 2. So we're not going to start at 2. We're going to actually start at 4. And then 2 more is 6, and 2 more is 8. So let's go again. My area is base times height. Okay. What's my base? Well, the base of this right here, this rectangle, is 2. Well, what's my height? Well, I have to substitute a value. Now, when it's left hand point, left end point, we start off with the domain that they give us, 2. But this time, we have to start at 4. Why? Because it's the right side. It's the right corner that's touching the curve. Well, how do I know what value that is? Simple. You just add your delta x, your width. So, 2 plus whatever this delta x is. Sometimes it'll be 1, sometimes it'll be a fraction. In this case, it's nice and easy. We made it a 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. So I'm going to plug in 4 into my, into my function. So 4 squared plus 3, that should give you 19. And that goes there. Now we go to the next rectangle. This guy right here, what's my delta x? Same thing, it's 2. Okay, well, what's the height? Well, you have to find the height at 6. How do I know what's, what x value to plug in? Well, you just keep, keep adding your delta x's. So then it becomes 6. Plug in the 6. 6 squared plus 3. That's going to give us 39. And the last one, because they want three rectangles, so I should have three values, 1, 2, and the third one. The last one is 8. And 8 squared is 64 plus 3 is 67. All right, and there it is. And then you can go ahead and do your math, use your calculator, and get your square units. So hopefully that helps, guys. Uh, let me know if uh, you have any questions.